right, so here we have a Strawman splinted screw retained PFM fixed dental prosthesis implant retained. And this is the master cast. You can see the soft tissue on top. You can pull the soft tissue away. You can see that the are called the lab fixture analogs, sometimes called the implant replicas. And Strawman has a color coded system, so you'll see a purple stripe to, to designate that this would be called an RC implant versus an NC implant. RC meaning regular connection versus a narrow connection. Okay? Whether the implant is 4.1 millimeters or 4.8 millimeters, it still uses the same exact analog. The same for both. The NC is a yellow stripe. The RC is a purplish sort of lavender colored stripe. This is a Strawman driver set. I have two of the three drivers that come with the set, and the drivers are each of them six millimeters longer than the one previous. So you have a short, a medium, and a long. And the long one is 27 millimeters, 21 millimeters, and 15 millimeters in length. And the length is from the top of the driver to the end, top of the driver to the end, top of the driver to the end. 27 is long, 21, and 15. The end of the driver is like a star. We call it a Torx. T O R X Torx. It's the only Torx driver system implant connection system in the world and it's attributed only to Strawman implants. These are easily inserted and removed from the torque wrench which I have right here. You can also use these individually. You can just with your fingers and just twist in things. So when we say finger tight you just grab it and you twist it in. It's important to use a throat screen or a piece of dental floss. You notice that there's a little ridge here that separates the shaft from the knob here and there's a little kind of groove in there. That's a great place to tie dental floss. So you can tie dental floss around this so that patients don't swallow these or aspirate them. Okay. I like to have my patients sitting in an upright position. I also like to have a throat screen present and to be very safe you can put a piece of dental floss on here. This is the torque wrench itself and it's, uh, this torque wrench is not a friction torque wrench, it's a spring torque wrench. It's a spring because this is considered to be a spring. Mm -hmm. Anything that's metal and flexible and returns back to its original position is a spring. Mm -hmm. So what we do when we tighten is we, we pull on this little teardrop shaped knob here. We don't touch it here, okay? This is where we do the, the pulling. Uh, I'm gonna take it apart and then put it back together again so you can kind of see what, what's going on here. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the uh, inner portion of it and there's a little sheath that comes off in here and you can see that the torque wrench now has these three components. When we place this in the sterilization we like to take it apart like this so that all the little parts don't stick together by maybe having some of the corrosion products or the solutions get into those little parts and so you sterilize them separately. And it's easy to assemble, it's really kind of dummy proof, you can't go in the wrong way and have anything fit because this little flange out here is, is, is not covering anything. You have to go this way so that it s sneaks up right along it like this, like you're putting on a pair of socks, okay? And once you have it in there, you're good. Now, this little portion here is where all the action happens. It's got a little, um, a little knob that you can, you can pull and switch directions on, and this direction tells you the direction in which you are going to be engaging the driver engaging the driver. It doesn't mean tightening or loosening, it simply means engaging the driver. Where the opposite direction is going to be ratcheting. Click, 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 drive. Click, 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 drive. Is that making sense? Mm -hmm. All right, so a lot of people think, oh, that's for tightening and loosening. No, it depends entirely on how you, you situate this inside of this uh, little tube here. Okay. At the very end, if you look really closely, there's a little sort of uh, wedge shape there. It looks like a little door stopper that's on the very end. And that is, that is the little door stopper, little flat edge area that is going to engage the driver. You notice the driver has got these little slits on the side of it, all these little slit areas. And this, this driver is going to be engaging in here. So this is the, this is the action of, of the torquing. It's grabbing the driver in that location. So when you hear the brr, brr, that's because it's going this way and then click, 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 drive, click, 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 drive, click, 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 drive. Does that make sense? Okay. So it's, and I think it's pretty important to understand how these things work. So we'll go ahead and go ahead and insert it and you'll be, be thinking, 
well, which way do I put the little, the little, not, the little uh, portion here, the little arrow? Well, since we're going to be tightening, let's go ahead and tighten this. And by the way, this little, this little area here is frequently not tightened all the way. A lot of people try to use this, they don't have it tightened all the way, and guess what happens? Zzz, zzz, nothing. Because you're not able to engage because the little tooth that comes out through, the, through this little tube here is not present, so it's nothing to engage. So that last little half a millimeter, three quarters of a millimeter is really important. So you really have to tighten it all the way down. Now, if you're gonna be tightening, you'd wanna have the arrow facing towards the direction which you're pulling. If you're gonna be loosening, okay, you could either flip the, flip the torque wrench over this way, okay, and do it this direction, or you could just pull this out on this little spring and flip it around the other direction. Just remember this, the direction of the arrow is the direction in which the little door stopper here is engaging the driver and it has nothing to do with loosening or tightening. Loosening and tightening has entirely to do with clockwise versus counterclockwise. So counterclockwise is loosening, clockwise is tightening. Maybe you've heard righty tighty, lefty loosey. So it's a good way to remember. So we're going to switch this over to the tightening mode and the drivers just slip in. There's no click or anything like that. And you can see here it goes click, 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 tighten. Click, 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 tighten. And if this was into the an implant, it would be flexing like this. You read here these numbers. <coughs> and these numbers are telling you exactly what the torque value would be. You can see here, I'll turn it this way. You can see that you've got uh, 0, 15, and 35. Strawman likes to be torqued to 35 Newton centimeters, so when we use the torque wrench, it's going to be shifted all the way over to here when we're doing the tightening. Okay? And I think that's pretty much all I can show you is it's, you know, sometimes this torque wrench uh, driver is going to be a little long and you may want to put in a shorter one. Sometimes that's required. And sometimes you want to use the long one, which I don't have present here, but just a six millimeters longer. And remember, it's the distance from the top of the driver to the end the top of the driver to end, 15, 21, and 27, six millimeters apart each one. And it's important to have an entire set because you're gonna use all of those at some time or another. Sometimes you wanna loosen a very tight uh, implant uh, screw. Uh, maybe you're trying to retrieve something. In that particular case, you don't wanna use the knob or the spring. There's really no reason for it. You can just grab the driver by the, by the shank here. Just remember that if you're gonna be loosening, you're gonna wanna have you want to have this turned over this direction and you can kind of push by the, the shank itself or you can push on this little portion here. Just use it as kind of like a wrench trying to back, back something out. So the torque wrench can be used for, for calibrating uh, or for measuring the torque value of the driver uh, going into the implant, but it also can be turned around the other way and it can be used to grab hold of the shank and unloosen or loosen something. That makes sense? Uh, any questions about the torque driver system at all from anybody? Okay, great. Let's uh, try in some implant grounds.